What's good, everybody out there on YouTube? This is your man, Shattuck Stick, dropping some hot Faraga on the mic, or on this mic. Dang, I'm already mad enough. I have messed up my intro. But if you wind up liking this video or agreeing with me or disagreeing and just liking the video, like the video and subscribe. If you wind up not liking it, then dislike it. And also leave a comment down below about how you feel about this entire situation. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about based on the title or the thumbnail, we're going to be talking about the latest DLC added to Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, or more so the DLC that was announced. Now, if you guys don't know, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate had a season pass where each fighter was revealed along the way, which there's really nothing wrong with this, something we expect from fighting games in the modern day and age, or just many games in the modern day and age. If you buy a season pass, you know that despite you may not knowing what that content is, you'd like to pre-purchase it to support the developers or whatever in the future, uh, despite you not knowing what the content is. But after the reveal of Byleth, it seems like the Smash community is in a little bit of a heat. Many people slandering Byleth's name, saying she do she slash he doesn't belong in the game. Many of them citing that there are too many Fire Emblem characters. They're tired of seeing Fire Emblem. It wasn't as impactful as the other characters. In that for some reason, Fire Emblem, one of Nintendo's now currently highest grossing series, or best selling series, doesn't deserve another character in the game. So how does your boy feel about this? I believe that people are acting stupid. Now, let me rap to you for a little bit. Why do I believe people are acting stupid? Well, the first point they make is that Fire Emblem is overrepresented, that there are too many Fire Emblem characters, and because of that, Byleth does not deserve to be in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which I think is completely absurd. Now, right now, the character with the, or the series with the most characters is Pokemon. That's if you're counting Pokemon Trainer as three separate characters, which admittedly they are they have three entirely different movesets so come on don't be stupid here and despite that no one gets mad when they add incineroar to the game etc so on so forth no one's mad about the fact that the you know there's 10 pokemon characters now i will explain why people are upset there is another fire emblem character and that's to go into the second point this character is not another marth they are a unique character many people were upset because at first it looked like it was going to be another marth i'm going to tell you that i haven't played three houses and I, I was watching that trailer i was like oh no another marth but the character wound up not being another marth and guess what they're a fire emblem character while they still do use a sword they use other weapons Wow, imagine that. One of the times they try to add a unique Fire Emblem character and people are upset, which is completely stupid. The character has, you know, for the most part, a really unique moveset. And on top of having that unique moveset, plays differently than the other characters. Again, they're not another Marth. Well, yes, I don't like that there are basically a Marth clone and two semi-clones for Marth. I will admit that this character is cool. And considering that Fire Emblem Three Houses, from what I'm hearing, is an amazing game, I'm not surprised that Byleth got into Smash. Now, I will say this. I didn't expect Byleth to be in the first fighter pass. I expected Violet to be in the second fighter pass. And on top of that, a lot of the hints and stuff we were getting throughout the week led to point to D DMC Devil May Cry's Dante. Not DMC Devil May Cry like the reboot, but the series. And people had really high hopes, especially after that image with Sakurai holding up his hand in the three, which turned out he was just counting the 17 in binary to signify that Fire Emblem Three Houses is the, thir uh, the 17th game in the Fire Emblem series which is crazy. It's the most big brain switcheroo I've ever seen in the history of gaming outside of Kojima, you know, making Raiden the uh, playable character in Metal Gear Solid 2. But people need to realize that Fire Emblem now in its current state as a series is a powerhouse for Nintendo. It drives sales through the roof. And first of all, you don't need to attack Sakurai. You need to attack Nintendo, if anything, or if anyone, or that they're a company. You know what I mean? Because guess what? They were the ones who chose the first fighter pass, and they ch they're choosing the second. Both times the fighter pass was announced, Sakurai said, Hey, Nintendo chose these characters, not me. So to say, oh, it's because of this love of Fire Emblem, no, it's not. It's because Nintendo chose it. They were being really smart. 
And while this may not have been the super hype ending fighting character, fighting game character for the fighting pass or whatever people were expecting, it's a pretty cool character to be added. And it should have been expected. We already knew we were getting a fighters pass too. So why are you complaining when six more fighters are coming? Fire Emblem doesn't have too much representation in Smash. It's older than most of the game series in Smash. It's a Nintendo IP and people love the series. And I'm gonna give you some insight on why you shouldn't be upset. Cause you don't have to buy the DLC. If you bought the Fighters Pass, that's your fault. No one cares. Sakurai even warned us before buying the first and second Fighter Pass, like, hey, you don't have to buy the Fighter Pass if you don't want to. He said, please understand, we, we know that we haven't announced any characters, so take that risk if you'd like. But if you don't, just buy the characters individually. It's not that big of a deal. That's what I was doing, because I feared there was going to be another Marth. I'm buying Byleth because the character looks cool. Admittedly, again, when I first saw Byleth, I was like, oh man, I'm kind of disappointed. But at the end of the day, I was like, ah, oh, it's whatever. The character looks cool. I'm going to try them out at least. I mean, even when Banjo was at it, I didn't want Banjo in Smash. Let me clarify that. Not meaning I was, you know, against him being in Smash, more so that I didn't care if he got into Smash. He was a character that I didn't care for. I don't like Banjo-Kazooie. So for me to want Banjo in Smash would genuinely be weird. It's one of those situations where I'm like, if you don't want to buy the character, don't buy the character. I'm getting tired of people asking me, hey, Shattuck, how do you feel about Byleth? Hey, Tim, how do you feel about Byleth? Guess what? I don't care. The character's coming. I'm going to buy them. They look cool. They're not another Marth. I'm happy about that. Woo. The Smash community needs to stop getting his panties in a wad when it doesn't get something it wants. You wanted Dante, boo-hoo. I want Sora in Smash. You don't see me getting upset because Sora isn't in Smash. I made like five videos begging for him to be in Smash. But every time another character gets announced, like Banjo, a character that I don't care for from a series I don't like, I don't sit here and cry and get upset and whine over there not being my character in Smash. And I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh, Sora deserves to be in Smash more than Banjo-Kazooie. I'm not gonna say that. All these game series have their own merit. So to sit here and get upset that a new character got added from a series you may not care for or you feel is overrepresented in Smash, it's just kind of ludicrous. But I don't know. That's how I feel. Tell me how you feel in that comment section down below. This has been your man Shattuck Stick. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Then push that notification bell. And if you'd like to directly support the channel, I would highly advise you hitting that join button and becoming a member. It's as low as $2 a month. If you'd like to, you know, flex and, you know, show off some merch and show off the channel in public, buy some merch. Links will be down in the description. Also, follow your boy on Twitter. He's trying to get to 800 followers. I'd highly appreciate it. And Discord server is over halfway to 100 members, so I'd like it if you join. We talk about video games, anime, just anything, even life. If you need a group of people to talk to, the people in there are great. But guys, don't forget, Hafaraga turns to Kobla Zaga. Make sure you chill out with some of my other videos. Peace. Kiss, kiss. Bada, bada.